god. Don't give Ryan any more ammunition on me, too. This, I don't think I've ever said that actually on camera, actually. Wow. So that is honest to God truth. Welcome back, guys, to the Pokey Radar Podcast. This is episode 13, moving into month number four, quarter number two of the podcast. Um, today we have uh, another special guest, as they all are. Uh, he is weathering the, um, the storm of Hillary Clinton. And it, <laughs> uh, not, to, it's a, not to make light of this, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's over for me, guys. This is my, this is my last time on, on camera, so... <laughs> this will be uh, your first appearance on, on any of my podcasts that I've done. Uh, we have um, the... Uh, up and coming, almost at 100k. Uh, the Pokey Vault, Sean. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? What up, man? Good, man. Uh, we were just we were just chatting a little bit about um, Japan and obviously um, the hurricane going on in in SoCal. You yeah. uh, you're out there in uh, the not. Uh, not San Diego, but you said two hours north. Um, two hours north, like yeah. If you imagine Los Angeles, Lo Los Angeles, Los Angeles, I would be forty minutes north from there ish, and that's okay. forty minutes with traffic, so it's much closer. But uh, so I'm out in a valley. I'm in a suburb in the in a desert essentially. Okay. Uh, so you, if you knew if you know where Ventura is, I'm kind yeah. of out in that in that way. I'm yeah. out that direction. Okay. I spent mm -hmm. I spent a couple months living in in socal i lived in, oh, nice. in in san jose for three years um my early days out of college working a job uh, oh bro they have their downtown is beautiful i went to a all-star hockey game they had all-stars there like four years ago ish and i've never been to san jose but downtown san jose is freaking gorgeous yeah it's um, awesome yeah they, they yeah. uh i is uh, some people don't like it because it's just um all businessy right in san jose but for me it was yeah. an hour to the beach an hour to the woods an hour to the city of san francisco it was an hour to wherever i wanted to go plus san jose itself like you said small it's gorgeous smallish yeah. downtown but fantastic um yeah. uh, and i wasn't a, a, a big hockey guy but whenever my friends came to visit we'd go watch uh yeah, I mean, sharks. I hate, I hate the shark. I hate the sharks personally. I'm a Kings oh, really? fan, so I mean, oh yeah. But I just went for the, the Kings. for the also. Oh no, I yeah. was thinking Sacramento. I'm a basketball. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. No, uh, yeah, the the yeah. yeah, yeah, the other Kings. <laughs> well, the San Jose Sharks have some of the coolest jerseys, at least. Uh, oh, easily, yeah. Um, the logo easily. wise, oh, you, but they're like so close to us, so we just you know, it's just instant. Right. You know, it's like a rivalry. Yeah, even worse with the Ducks. Right. Oh, I was yeah, I was just gonna say, outside of the Sharks having sweet jerseys, the Ducks being uh, a 90s yeah. kid the the mighty yeah, ducks right um <laughs> oh dude i know i know get a nice goldberg jersey or something that's that's uh, tough that was always that. a that was a battle for me man because my my earliest memory as a kid was my dad took me to the forum which is the previous stadium uh before crypto or what was staples and i got to see gretzky play as a kid oh. so in the forum which is much smaller i'm getting goosebumps thinking about it now um it you know so I had to grow up with that. And then, of course, I love the Mighty Ducks, right? I mean, because yeah. it's like I played roller hockey. It's right up my alley. I love hockey. But then it's like the Ducks. So it's like always closet hatred. But like outwardly, my all my friends love the Ducks, you know, because like, oh, the jerseys, the things and the sticks and the, eh, and the you know, quack yeah. attack, flying V, like shut up. OK, but, you know, <laughs> so but I always had to like play, you know, both sides of the fence. Yeah, I uh, I swear <laughs> I swear this is a Pokemon podcast, but I never get to talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. sports. Oh yeah, so. yeah, yeah, we, yeah, um, yeah, we got no, I I was uh, <laughs> I never got to see Jordan. I got to see Kobe play once. Oh yeah, but Vince Carter yeah. was my guy, and yeah, every yeah. time I went to see Vince Carter, he didn't play. <laughs> he was He's on like inju injured or something. Or he was on the out. Nets one year oh. when he was playing with like J Kid and and them. He got ejected in the second quarter. Yeah. <laughs> for text get, get to text and then um uh yeah the second time it was like the end of the season they were kind of they were out of the uh, out of the race so he so just they're re he, resting he, him he, he didn't yeah. play and i had access to to the court every game because my jv basketball coach worked for them um mm -hmm. so like he would bring some of his players 
and he knew I was a Vince Carter guy. So he brought me for a Vince Carter game and you know, Vince Carter during warmups, where's he at? Where's he at? He walks out in the suit. I'm right there to, to get a high five or something from him. Yeah. I reach my hand out and he starts playing with his, just fiddling with his watch and clearly wanted nothing to do with anybody. And, uh, it was your biggest day, but it was just a bad watch day for him. Exactly. And then <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Um, All right. that was great. Uh, yeah. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. or trading Pokemon. cards, co- collectibles. I mean, I, mean, yeah, I yeah. do, we do collect. I mean, I, I'm a sports card collector too. Let's see. Talk oh yeah, dude. Vince Carter. Yeah, Vince Carter. Uh, that's so much. I mean, money wise, it's so much bigger than Pokemon, right? If we're going to talk about something. Is I don't it? know. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like, dude, I, Obviously, I know Pokemon. I know nothing about sports card collecting. I know about sports, but not the collecting part. Mm-hmm. But I just see, I'm seeing these people like, oh, I just bought a, a $50,000 Kobe or, a, you know, or what? Like, and I'm like, I'm trying to put that in a relation for my, but that's because they're numbered, right? Of course. So yeah. there's just not any of them, right? Well, it's all like so. manufactured rarity. And mm-hmm. yeah, I, like obviously the market cap for sports cards is way, way bigger like right. massive but i mean pokemon it's we're at the point now where it's it's there's tons of thousand dollar cards there's tons of ten thousand dollar cards um so it's it's catching up i mean yeah we need maybe we more need, in a general sense right yeah. the vertical is so much higher in sports but maybe in general pokemon has it dominated maybe, yeah i don't know i don't know but um uh, yeah, well, how about a little intro to, to who Pokey Vault <laughs> is uh, five minutes in here. Um, uh, we, me and you, we just met for the first time at uh, at Card Party. Um, you know, I think uh, our, our relationship kind of easily, um, or me and you easily connected because of mutual friends, uh, uh, Ryan yeah. and Nick. Um, yeah. and, and we also had a, a panel there as well, so we kicked it off or two, we did two pa- ended up doing two panels together yeah um, well you're the only but, guy in the uh, in the crowd on the second one so you know he just <laughs> jumped up <laughs> i i like the last one better than the first one to be honest oh you know 100 yeah 100%. personally like like next time i, I was gonna tell pat i'm like maybe i'm not gonna do an investing i don't know if that's like the funnest or the best you know what i mean and we came right no. after yeah, we came right after it. Like it's like they open up the doors to Chuck E. Cheese, and they're like, "Oh no, but wait, just stay here for an hour, and and just listen to this." <laughs> you know, like it yeah, wasn't happening. Yeah, I told Pat exactly. Like it was the first panel, first day. Yeah, right everyone after was the so opening so excited meeting. It was all right now. Everybody leave, go to the event, and then it was there was no mention of us doing a panel. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we did not have any viewers. We had like three people, and yeah. It was uh, it was rough, but also yeah. the content of it wasn't ideal for the uh, no. kids. It was really a family friendly oriented event. It wasn't a a adult. That, I don't know. Like that, yeah, we did an investment panel. No yeah, one was that, there for no one. They yeah, were there to see yeah. to see Pokey Rev. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, we should just bring him up on stage um, next time and. <laughs> yeah no but i, I mean I, I personally so. think that um that i would me and you like if i i was I, I was super happy to meet you like i knew of you um and then yeah. you know nick and ryan had mentioned had mentioned you in other stuff and i remember and then when i put the face to the name i saw you in one of ryan or nick's videos i think maybe it was nick where you were in ryan's basement and you guys were talking mm-hmm. and you guys were looking at his collection. This was like maybe two years ago or something. So then I was like, oh, that's okay. That's Radar. I didn't know because I I remember your name is John, not Radar. So like all this association was happening. Right. And then <clears throat> like meeting you, I yeah, I, I think we would have just hit it off because we just, I think we have similar types of like, you know, just the way we are. Like when we were at the, we're not like all high energy. Like when we're, you know what I mean? It's, you're very low key which makes me calm. Yeah. I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of the same way. And then Ryan's jumping off the walls, doing whatever he's doing, throwing, <laughs> you know, giving out 700 packs of fusion strike. Nick's in the corner getting, yeah. getting, you know, molested. I mean, it was, it's, you know, it was, it was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, this is, this is, this is fairly new for you, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, as far as, as being involved in Pokemon, cause you know, Nick, Nick Ryan and I go way back in, the collecting early Instagram days of creating content, Pokemon content. 
um, you know, I, I've never really been consistent with it and just kind of done the podcast and openings here and there. I've hopped in their videos when I visited. I lived in Jersey at one time. Yeah. But, um, but Pokey Vault is your YouTube channel. It's your name. It's yeah. what you're building. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's kind of coming at a pretty great time where you're, I mean, you're almost at 75,000 subscribers, right? Or have you passed yep. that? Uh, it's almost to 75. Yeah. I think we just, almost, 74 yeah. and yeah, 70, 74 and change, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So you're probably at 75 by the time this comes out. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, um, <man. laughs> and, and I mean, you had, uh, uh, plenty, plenty of your own fans at card party and, yeah. um, I mean, you you said you're low, you know not as high energy as Ryan. I don't think anybody is, but um, <laughs> although that was shocking to me, I thought I thought Ryan would be uh, a little quieter. He's usually pushing Nick out there to get him to do more things, but he was right. uh, he was getting bombarded as well by a bunch of people. Oh so yeah, man. He 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 did a great job staying uh, staying high energy and, and involving his his fans. But you yourself again. What's your what, what's your group of uh, fans called? Vault Squad. The, 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 the Vault Squad. You had plenty of Vault yeah. Squad members showing up, and uh, yeah, man. Uh, of the five people that came to our panel, there was twenty <laughs> yeah. percent of it was you. So <laughs> yeah. maybe more. <laughs> oh <laughs> but, man! Uh, but how how is that going? I mean, you, you've been doing this for how long? Uh, we just we're at like two point three months, like literally, or two point two point three years on youtube mm -hmm. i've been like on youtube or whatever for a while not creating any content but like you know people go back and they're like oh how long have you been a channel i've had a channel just because i would post vacations of my family on private you know for us to have it's right so i have like oh. my channel's been but i repurposed my own you know my channel or whatever but uh mm -hmm. poke vault has been in play for for like almost two and a half years um yeah. And it was all because of my daughter. Wow. My daughter's my daughter's the one that wanted it. It was during COVID. And she goes, hey, you know, I she was what there was only a handful of people that were really out there. Right. It was like Lee and Hart. It was like she used to watch primetime Pokemon, which <laughs> I, did, he's, what? How did yeah. she discover that? <laughs> because she just loves to watch the openings of it. She lo she's like yeah. one of those kids that loves the you hit it. You know what I mean? And this is back when he was just hands. You know, there's he didn't he didn't bring his face in. I don't think. Um, Right. And there's only, you know, there's only a certain amount of people doing it. And he, she goes, she goes, Hey, can, can we start our own channel? And I'm like, I, I do, I do light. I, I sell led light bulbs. You know, I, I don't, I don't mess with the YouTubes and the cameras and the, all that, you know what I mean? I, I have no idea about that. And so mm -hmm. slowly, but surely I, um, uh, you know, I started the process of figuring out how to even upload. I mean, if you go back, I didn't take down any of my old content. If you look at my old content, it is like DOS, bro. It is eight bit. It's crazy looking. It's weird. You know what I mean? Like it's just, are. yeah. And and everyone's and and then so I'm sitting there and I'm like, what should our name be? So our the channel's name was between two names. It was either going to be Piper's Pokemon Pika Palace. I'll never forget that because my daughter's name is Piper. So she wanted okay. Piper Pokemon Pika Palace or something. One of those four in that order, in some some order. Okay. Or I picked because like I have, I I don't know why, but I always thought it was a good idea to keep my my you know my most valuable stuff in in a safe. So, and then yeah. at the time, there was far less pokies in the world, right? There was yeah. at the time there was just, now everyone's a pokey something, right? Um, right. So I was like, okay, safe poke safe no pokey, no you know, bank poke, and then I was like poke vault, and I was like boom, and they kind of just hit. And I was like, for me anyway, you know, we had 60 subscribers and half of them were my family. So it, it was, you know, that was it. That's how, it, that's literally how it started. And then my, and then uh, my daughters backed off from it and that was my wife's and I choice. Uh, and then, so yeah, here I am. <laughs> oh, she was, she, she was making content with like there's videos. I mean, I she, see me and her. Like, yeah. Like in shorts, shorts, you're, you involve your, your yeah. wife sometimes and your kids, but yeah. Um, Oh wow! Yeah, she That's, my my so my daughter and I just started she, opening together, and I, yeah, just yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Did she lose interest, or was it more so like safety of because you were getting we, bigger and bigger? Yeah. You wanted the yeah. That makes so uh, truth be told, and I've said this story, so it's not like it's not like you know a secret. But uh, the farther we went on, 
she uh, she has an iPad that has like limited access. It's kind of like more of like a she can play games on it, stuff like that, right? So I I walked into her room a few times and she was kind of playing at the camera, like, hey, this is Piper, blah blah blah, and it was kind of like. So I was like, okay, that's all right. I don't know if that's normal or not, right? So I, st- I talked to my wife. My wife works with special needs kids, like, and she she's a behavioral therapist. So I'm like, hey, what? And she goes, that's pretty normal. Let's just watch it or whatever. Then she starts doing it without the camera, and she's disassociating herself with kind of reality almost. So there's like that tether is being is disappearing. So then me and my mm-hmm. wife talked, and we're like that's it. Let's shut it down. And she was, you know, it didn't go well. Right. So she, cause we stopped filming together. Oh. Yeah. Right. And, and we made that choice. She understands it now cause she's eight now, but when we had the conversation, she was, you know, almost six. So she, it, it wasn't, it didn't go well back then. And, and, but we made that choice together. And then, so I'm sitting there and there was a time where I wasn't posting anything. I'm like, the channel's done. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. there's, it's just, right. And, and then, so then, I meet certain people. They're like, you got to keep going. So then I start kind of repurposing it to- more towards what we'll call investing, which, you know, it's, that's a different meaning to me now, but I was really just at, like dialoguing while showing off product that I was buying and why I was buying right. it, you know? Uh, so yeah. poke- investing means something different to me now than it did back then. Um, but that's how it happened. And it kept going. And then I, it started to just, once I stopped, once I took my daughter out of it, it also seemed like I could kind of more naturally be myself. And I started to attract an older audience rather than all, you know, minus 17 year olds. Um, right. And then, you yeah. So like tailor, you have to tailor your YouTube. Yeah. Like, like, like it's not just the, the, the creation of the content, but the, you have to tailor the things you click when you upload videos, when you're doing kid content, yeah. like it's a whole separate YouTube uh, platform really. Um, I had to also it, click, it, uh, this is for under, this is for children, you know what I mean? And stuff right. like that, because like it, it right. was, you know, that's who our, that's who our target audience was, I guess. I, I, I don't even know, you know, the way that it happened though, honestly, John is like, it, it couldn't have happened any better. Like the way that yeah. it went down, it couldn't happen any better. Everyone's happier. My daughter's made peace with it. She still loves Pokemon. I still yeah. bring the, the family into it with shorts, which do, of course I put my wife in there. And she, you know, everyone clicks, of course. So it's right. just like that, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'll bring in her into stuff sometimes. But she, she's also like not, she doesn't like being on camera. Like people think, I see comments like, oh, your wife, that, that was so funny. Your wife's great. She started her own channel. I'm like, do you understand what it takes me to get to the point of Z from A? It is, it, you know, it's wild, you know? And, and she's like, that's, that felt weird. We shouldn't, I'm like, no, there's no audio in the video. You know, we just did like a Mentos commercial. Like it was a funny yeah, little dumb thing that. on Instagram. Yeah. So, and she goes, I sounded so weird. It was so cringe. Well, I'm like, no, there's no audio <laughs> literally. And she goes, well, how do people know what's going I'm like, just, just do this with me. Okay. Just go like this <laughs> with me. Okay. And, and you know, but it comes out, it comes out good. You know, once the just editing is your, done. Your creative genius juices. Right. I'm like, don't ask questions. Just do it. <laughs> you know? No, nah, but I mean, it, the way that it happened, bro, it, I couldn't have asked for any more, yeah. you know, and I was able to pivot early on. My, my viewers now are like, you know, they're like so cool, like just, you know, they're so cool. It's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a good feeling. Yeah, you, know? you do, you do lives occasionally. You, you got your yep. shorts, you got your, uh, you post almost every day, not every day, right? Yeah. Like every other, yeah. Every other day I try to throw something on there just to stay in the, in the swell, you know what I mean? Yeah. And well, not that's, get kicked out. Yeah. That's, that's awesome to, I mean, that's a tough thing to do. I'm not a parent, but I mean, I, I see it close enough, I guess now with, with, uh, being an uncle and then all my friends having kids as well. Um, that's, I never, I've never thought of that, of, I've seen that, uh, with kids and it doesn't click cause it's not like a, I'm not sitting there every day with them and be like, this right. is weird behavior. Like, oh, they just want to be a YouTuber. It's cute, you know? Right. Um, right. So that's 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 great on you guys to have recognized that. And, um, yeah, who, who knows what that could turn into. So uh, there's always always opportunity to to become a YouTuber. You got to – Yeah. <laughs> you can't, and she, and she's always mel- welcome to, to come back to it. Like, we've talked about right. it. And, like, I don't know where right. this is going. You know what I mean? Like, if it all goes to zero, then I'll just go back to doing what I was doing before. Yeah, I was buying and selling Pokemon cards on eBay. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'll go back to. But 
she can always come back to it. I just want her to be a kid as long as possible and just let her enjoy and not have to think that she is, you know, on stage for a bunch of people. I don't want her to live like that. Just be a kid, be excited about whatever it is that she's excited about, you know? Yeah. So, Um, so I guess like as far as inspiration then, I mean, to me, I'm looking at your channel, your vibe, even your intros and outros. And I'm like, Hey, this is, this guy likes gaming. He's, he's just doing a doctor disrespect of mm-hmm. uh, Pokemon here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, but it all started with, with your kid and it just kind of flowed into what it is now. But is, I guess it, since, since that, that transition period, I guess, um, going into the investing, investing and now more so entertaining is, is Dr. Disrespect actually, are you a fan of him or do you even know who he is? Okay, so this is people will say that I'm like you know I'm like dollar store disrespect. That was before I got called dollar store dollar. All right, what did I get called? I got called like ninety nine cent and under uh, poker rev or something like that. I loved it. I mean, it, now now I just like make because you know of course he has to blow up to, into oblivion and we both have to be like dark dark hair and the beard and then now I'm dollar store him right now. But yeah. I at true. Honest to God, truth, and you know, whatever people can believe, whatever the hell they want. I, my initial um, inspiration, if you want to call that, was kind of more back to the future. It was kind of more retro. That's why you'll see like the DeLorean a lot and That's stuff like that. Right. And then, and then there's like obviously in that, okay. So when you I are come, old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was born in 85. Yeah. So, so okay. my whole thing was like retro and then like I'm wearing the 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 windbreaker and mm-hmm. I'm doing the thing and then I liter- I find probably 4 months in I find out about and Dr. disrespect he's been around for I see him and I'm like holy god like it's <laughs> it, it he gives me the idea at the time cuz I didn't give a crap I was like whatever right. and then he you know I played Warzone while just like everyone else did during lockdown right mm-hmm. um I, you know, so I, so I'm into this thing. I'm watching him and, you know, like Z lane and all these guys or whatever. But then I'm seeing his green screen work and I'm like, I know how to work with a green screen. So then I start pulling that in, but also trying to keep my own identity because yeah, I go into this like person, this di- like Dr. Disrespect persona. I'm a big fan of his. He's a, f- he's a, he's crazy, crazy, like, you know, entertaining. Yeah. And really all I was doing when it happened at the time, no one was watching. When I did my first live, there was four people on and I knew all of them. So it's like, you know, no one was watching. And then I'm like, I'm just going to play with this. I had all the time in the world. I was at home. I've never worked from home in my entire professional career. Never. So I have all this time at home and I needed somewhere to put all this energy because my business went down to 40%. So, I mean, it was a bad, not only yeah. was all this happening, but I was in a really bad financial situation. Like yeah. we, we had to defer, well, I, I don't, I don't know if it's about that, but we had, I mean, it was really bad, like really, yeah. really bad. I'll just say that. Uh, so we got close to some bad things happening, but everything ended up working out. But, um, I just started using, taking little pieces and just making it interesting for myself. I wasn't ripping and shipping back then. I was just getting on and just talking. And to people because I didn't know what being live was honest to God yeah. you know yeah, I didn't get it was, it, it so, still is like it's a non-existent thing I feel like in Pokemon there's a couple people that do it quite consistently um yeah I'd love to do it more I I used to stream anything and everything um League of Legends and 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 Warzone and PUBG oh did um, you really I, yeah, I had no idea. yeah I had a Twitch era um nice and and that never picked up or kicked, you know, never really did anything for me. And I was building the Pokey radar brand and stuff. And that was blowing up in some capacity. So I shifted to doing Pokemon type lives where I was either yeah. searching for things to buy on Japanese websites. I was streaming the PWCC weeklies before or uh, the, their auctions on when they were on eBay um, before that was a thing. So that like picked up, you know, 50 viewers, 70 viewers, 100 viewers at some points, which was like fantastic. It's so oh, hard dude, that's... to compete 
in the streaming world. It, like like I, you said, you I, click live, you'll get four people, maybe. I, I couldn't get that many people to come to my funeral. Like that that's how <laughs> that's how I think of it. You know what I mean? Like I could get a hundred people to come to my funeral and they're yeah. taking their time to stop and watch. I mean, yeah, dude. I no, yeah. I get that. Yeah, it's yeah. a cool feeling, you know. It really is. And you'd pick up like random like I still have random fans from the 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 video game streaming days of the five people that would view and they they they'll still like check in on my pokemon stuff which is kind of cool. yeah that's that um, is cool yeah that's and, like a legacy and, fan you know yeah exactly yeah. and uh but yeah that's that's a world that i think has a lot of potential still in pokemon content um i think we're seeing another shift with at least the bigger creators are already kind of making different types of content that is more mainstream nick's doing these reaction videos once a week um i mean pat flynn who's been around a while now and also shares that that uh love for back to the future i'm sure that's where you guys have connected yeah. if you haven't talked about that with him you should he loves back to the future i think more than anything yeah. um but his type of content very storytelling um mr beast-esque uh yeah. style for for youtube um there's a shift of like getting away from openings because it's becoming so, so saturated, even though that will right. always, I think, I believe that will always be there and always be the core of Pokemon content. It's shifting away to something else. And there's a opportunity now, I think if the content creators can figure it out or want to do it is live streaming and doing more collaborative things with one another. Um, but it's about finding whatever content that is, to connect on because there's not really much pokemon online activity i feel like you can do together outside of battling in the video game but that's already a part of youtube with the competitors and then outside of right i really i really don't know i but i think that there's something there there's an opportunity there i just don't know what it is exactly yet it could be this yeah. podcast yeah, right, yeah. i mean people do do that but like oh, if you get can. the right people on a podcast, if you get the right humans on a podcast, I mean, yeah, you could probably pull in a lot of people watching, yeah. you know? Um, yeah, like I, I've been talking to, I've been talking to Nick and Ryan, you know, it's, but it's also hard being live, I think is a lot different. Uh, and I've learned it the hard way than yeah. being able to go back and watch yourself and edit yourself when maybe you say the wrong thing or you have some sort of a weird cork or something, you know what I mean? When you're mm -hmm. live, you can't take it back. Uh, and yeah. that, that's, that could be dangerous for some of the bigger guys. Right. So like, let's say, you know, I mean, Ryan, he could probably do or say whatever he wants. Right. But yeah. like, but like Nick, you know, if he says the wrong thing or something like that, it could be, it could be, you know, uh, hurtful to right. what he's trying to do. And so that, but yeah, like if you could somehow find, you know, that format, I mean, it could, pulling it's lot also of yeah but it's also uh as even though it's youtube or whatever it's a completely mm. different job <laughs> like yeah it's yeah. like nick you, you know he makes a video every day he's able to build up content take vacations spend time with family do what he needs to do you yourself same thing spend time with your family you need to find time to spend time with your family take vacations oh, yeah. do your thing streamers don't go anywhere or do anything. The biggest streamers that I watch, the majority of them, I, I don't think they have kids. Rarely are they married. It's an everyday thing. Um, I mean, maybe not at this point for them because they've gotten so big and made so much money. But for years and years and years of all their 20s, they were streaming. Just grinding. Every day. Yeah. And because you can't build up the content. You have to be home. You have to be there to do it so it's I'm sure you're working from home whatever that's great but mm -hmm. it doesn't allow you to take any time off and enjoy your life yeah dude uh, yeah and i would i couldn't imagine like bringing that over to pokemon there would never be just like how nick does a video every day right or a short every day whatever you know he does something every day um i would never stream every day because i would take the enjoyment out of it you know what i mean because yeah. it would be i mean just getting prepared for a stream like making sure 
all the bags are set up. You got all the people and, you know, you got all the people, right. You got you're making sure no one misses a pack. God forbid if I miss a damn pack. Oh my God. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, it goes oh, nuclear yeah. in the chat. Right. So, and I look forward to this, to the streaming because I get to connect with the viewers. I get to do something completely different. It's live. There's an energy there. And then, and that's the whole, like, you know, with the green screen, like, that's why I bring that in. The last thing that I like that I do in my personal life is watch other people stream opening Pokemon cards. You know what I mean? That's like the last thing I'll, I'll jump in on other people doing it, but like, I can't do it for a long period of time because of the fan, because of everything right. else. Right. So, and then like, that's not going to be the normal type of content that I ingest. So thinking of that, I'm like, how can I make this interesting, you know, for people if they just jump in and not feel like they missed the whole first four packs or whatever, you know, or whatever it is. So yeah. that's why I kept the green screen thing, you know, and it lets me get up out of my chair. Cause I can't sit for like two hours, but it's like brutal. It's brutal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It gets, uh, at this age, you gotta, oh, you yeah. gotta, <laughs> you gotta move it. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Don't give Ryan any more ammunition on me. Too. <laughs> I, I'm recording him literally right after this. So <laughs> no, um, no, he told me. <laughs> uh, eventually, uh, eventually we'll do a group one. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm doing all, oh, the, awesome. all those, all the solo guests. And that as I, um, get to the point where I want to bring people in together, I think that'll be, be more fun and enjoyable too. So, um, what was like the, the, uh, I guess inflection point for you, or maybe there were multiple where you really started to see a spike in your, in your views or your subs or whatever. Cause a lot of people are trying to do this thing. Um, pokey tubers. Uh, yeah. And you gotta be different. You gotta be, you gotta do quality. You gotta have a green screen. You gotta have something that changes sets things up and makes yeah, sets yeah. you apart. What was there a point where, I mean, did it like click instantly? Did you introduce the green screen, have weird, quirky things, and it just like shot you up, or did it take time for something like the, that to? The green screen actually, I lo every time I go on the green screen, I actually lose viewers. Um, so, so, but it, but it makes me happy. You know what I mean? And then, right. so other people, and then the people that stay, that's what they're really there for. They want to see me you know, fall. There was a, one time I fell over and pulled the whole green screen down and, and like it showed my whole, everything, like my whole garage. You know, I was in my garage at the time. So it was, you know, but an inflection point, like when I, when I first had this like shot of adrenaline, you know, like in general, and I think you can relate YouTube game is I'm like climbing an endless mountain. That's what it feels like. Right. Yeah. Uh, but like where I felt like I was like, damn, you know, like I felt really re not recognized, but seen almost is when Pat reached out to me and he goes, Hey, I, I didn't, I had no idea that he worked in, he, or he lived in San Diego. No mm. clue. I, and he started the same time as me. And obviously he's a wizard and his whole crew is an absolute, you know, he's got the best team. Right. Yeah. And, and the good, and the ideas he, he gets it, but he reached out to me and he goes, Hey, I'm going to be at, I'm going to be at Frank and Sons, which is down the, which is like an hour and a half from me. Mm -hmm. And it's in between us two. And he goes, and I'm like, well, I'm like, where do you live? I'm like, and why are you reaching out? Like, why are you DMing me? Like, it was just, it was like, I don't, I don't know. You know, like I was like playing varsity high school. And then Kobe's like, you know, coming down. He's like, Hey, yo, what do you want to, you, do you want to go like have a pickup or what? You know, it's like, and it's like 2004. Okay. And I'm like, what? Wait, wait. And so I'm like trying to get pick and he goes, Hey, I live in San Diego. Do you want to come and like shoot something with me? And I, at the time I'm like, I'm get like, dude, I was getting, I, I was, I, I, I got, you know, I'm t t messaging. I go and yell, I'm like, babe, you're not going to play that. And it's, and it's Pat. And it's a deep pocket monster. And it's like the big, this guy, this is like huge. We started together, but he's way better than me. And it's like huge. And, and, he, and she goes, <laughs> chill out. What the hell? Don't act, don't act weird just respond normally. So I was like, yes, Patrick, I would definitely, I, I will oblige Patrick. your request. I will, <laughs> I will, I will, I will be there very happily and maybe five minutes late. So you don't think that I'm excited, you know, or so, but like that, you know, here's, here's that, my assistance number. You can... <laughs> she'll, she'll reach out to you and we'll, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll get together, but like that experience and then filming with him and seeing that he was just like us. He mm -hmm. was, I thought he was going to have a, a crew and there was people going to be backing other people off. It was just him. Yeah. It was just him 
with two GoPros, two iPhones, and then the the thing, you know, the sticks that hold the the, the iPhones, right? And yeah. and it was just us, and we just ran around, acted crazy, and I'm like, how is this going to come out? I hope it's good. Like I, I was trying not to to gaff a lot and to be nervous and you know try to give as much dialogue as I could. The video got 1.5 million views, oh. and I, and I'm like, oh. you know, and and then in the middle of all that. Like his team obviously made it, you know, gift wrapped it for the, you know, the presentation. They're just, it's, it's insane to go for, to, to watch that process. But in the middle of all of it, me and him are like running around, we're sweating. He had a guy from his channel out, like there was a, a subscriber. He won the whole giveaway. So that guy's running around with us. And then me and him, we end up hitting it off. And like you said, like the back to the future thing, we're getting into, we're getting into, what I'm into and like, you know, the eighties and we're, you know, he's a little bit older than me. Okay. And people might not know that. Okay. I'm not the <laughs> oldest one, but, uh, but we, you know, we connected and it's just like, and I, I, the way that it felt was two people that have kind of been in this thing. And it's like, it's not necessarily like the hugest club. You know what I mean? Like you can't yeah. just open up to everybody about everything that you're doing. And it kind of felt good to be like, he kind of, he gets what I'm going through. I get what he's going through, but on a much smaller level, you know what I mean? And it, it was kind of cool to commiserate. And then that's how our friendship started. And now it's just like, you know, it's, we're friends. And yeah. that was a big moment for me, man. And, you know, being able to be a part of a brand that got over a million views on YouTube and feel what that's like, that kind of gave me extra um, motivation to try to one day get there. Cause I, I've never had anything on that success level. Yeah. So that was cool. You know, yeah, that was, it, that was a big moment. That yeah, was a cool think, moment. Yeah. Listening to that. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that's where I remember first hearing of you as well was the, the, that video or that collaboration. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've known Pat for a while since his start with with Pokemon stuff, and uh, yeah, watching his meteor rise has been really cool. I mean, it was just like yeah. inevitable. We all saw it coming. It's it's hilarious to me that no one's really this deep in, um, pun intended, deep pocket monster. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, no one's really even tried to match what he's doing. Uh, as far as content quality and and all that, it's it, I think a lot of us have taken bits and pieces because he's 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 so friendly. I mean, he even to this day, like I had him on the podcast a couple weeks ago. Before yeah, I this. watched it. Yeah, you know, first time I had him on, he had six hundred subscribers. Like he was just getting started in Pokemon, trying to learn, get involved with yeah. everybody. Yeah, and now he's at eight hundred and or 600 and some thousand, maybe 700 now. And yeah. uh, even to this day, he's still like, yeah, whenever you need help with audio equipment, lighting, uh, yeah. I, I guess you'll be my lighting guy now, um, yeah. LED bulb. And I then uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> whatever it is, he's always been incredibly helpful. You know, I think that's something that is uh, really great about him is he doesn't really forget, um, you know, his beginnings and who was there and people that help him and and all that so it's yeah he's he's a great guy and um more people need to recognize what he's doing and, like creators need to recognize what he's doing and how he's doing it and really do a better job of copying him and figuring out their own way with that he so i for so at card party speaking of i got to actually meet his crew so i knew of his crew Right, his mm. his his main go to guys Dan, and then and then there's some then then there's some other guys that are a part of, but mainly like the one that I interacted with most after filming was Dan. He's like, hey, can you give me a shot of you doing this, like just for the thumbnail or what? You know what I mean? Like, so I got to interact with him. He his personality. He has a group that just feeds him ideas, and then Pat will say, this is, and then he finds the right. So he, it's like you have this guy. That's that's coming up with idea, and then Pat's able to just like harpoon the idea, and like, okay, this is how we're going to do it. And they, what their their superpower is like, obviously the editing, but they mm. can cast such a big net that they can grab these people that have no interest in Pokemon and bring them in for one, you know, fifteen minute little spot, and they can capture them and be like, oh, 
And then they know if I click on that, yeah, I might not be that into Pokemon, but who knows what else could happen? Like they're so good at like casting this really big net and then bringing people in and making them a part of the experience. And I have any, like, you know, obviously I know, like I get what they're doing and they've even <laughs> explained it, but it's yeah. so hard to capture that or to reproduce that uniquely. And then also, you know, just the, uh, just being able to do it and then not feel like I'm farming him. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, I'll never tell a story as good as he can, you know? And it's like, don't say that, Sean. Ugh, I, that's I, I mean, damn, you know, like after being a part, it, it's like, it's hot, you know, it's not easy, you know? Yeah. No, I, I ran around at card party as a part of his, uh, one of his challenges oh, nice. filming, um, the team up challenge thing. And, and, uh, yeah, that was hectic and insane. And um, I mean, sure, you know, I think putting in a lot more resources, money and people, you know, he, he's got a whole team. A lot of people don't have a team or are able to have yeah. a team to do all this helps out a lot and makes it, um, I guess, more feasible. But um, but yeah, it, it's it's uh, again, it's something that I think someone like Nick who has a bigger team now i think even him he could start emulating that in some way uh if he wanted to but uh but yeah is, is that something i mean for you like again you're you're, you're close with nick and ryan are, is there other are, are you communicating with them a lot to talk about youtube itself to talk about ideas for your videos to talk about um you know even like the algorithm and all that because i know I've had conversations with them about that stuff and with others about how to tackle not just Pokemon, but YouTube in general and, and help grow. Uh, is that something that you, you have a small circle of people that you're constantly yeah. communicating yeah. about with that? Yeah. Like they, you know, I have, I, so I have a little bubble of people. So I have one buddy, uh, his name's Tony and he, I met him through the channel, but he'll feed me ideas. He's constantly scouring you know, algorithm ideas and like most searched terms, most searched sentences. So I'll, I'll go, you know, I'll go after that and I'll make a list. I have it right here. I have a list and, uh, but it's not, it's public knowledge. It's, you know, anyone that has the, you know, the ability to search it or the, you know, whoever wants to, but, um, I'll do that. And I'll, and I have guys that help me with that, or I'll have guys that are like brutally honest with me too, while I'm doing a live event or while I'm doing a video and they'll be like, yeah, don't do that. And this is, you know what I mean? Like that's really, you really want to find out when people are clicking off and not do those things. If you're really trying to, you know, get people to click and stick. Right. Yeah. Um, as far as like that, like I communicate with Nick and Ryan daily on what would you do with this title? How would you approach this? What are your thoughts about this? If I know it's a slam dunk or it's something that I'm doing with my family, I won't ask them because I don't care if it does well or not. If I'm trying to cast a net out that day and figure out how I can get, you know, my own, you know, however many view, you know, views I'm going to get that day, I'll ask them I'm like, "Hey, how would you approach this title?" And I'll get, and I won't just say, "Hey, give me a title." I'll give them four and then and then maybe, you know, some and Ryan will throw in kind of cuz he knows what what Nick what what does well for Nick and Nick will be like I like this but with this and then add this and I mean dude I mean yeah Nick helps me daily Nick and Ryan help me daily and and with Pat he you know when we get together I mean that dude gives me knowledge that I just can't you know maybe I'm just too dumb to figure out how to like it, but he just he know you know he's like on he's in a different orbit you know right. what I mean I'm over here spinning and he's like you know, and it, you get what I'm saying. It, yeah, I mean, you're, it, you're at different levels too, where some yeah. things will probably work, some things won't, uh, and you got to yeah. learn for yourself to some extent. So, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it, like what what Nick does isn't always something that you should be doing. Like you said, you're at the point even now, um, figuring out why are people not staying, why are they leaving. If yeah. you're just starting, you want to figure out how to get people in first and not worry about that so much. So get them in then like it's just steps like it's a typical cycle I think that everybody goes through. And I think an important I think an important exercise too is to understand your own viewers because those are the ones that are going to watch first like obviously we're trying to capture new people but I try to not as much as I can not turn my back 
on my own viewers and what they're looking for out of me. Mm-hmm. And they want me to talk about product. You know, they want me to mm-hmm. talk about, you know, about graphs and charts into the, you know, they want me to be Danny Phantom and I get, and I, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I, but you know, I can't do it every episode, you know, right. no, n- no disrespect. I just can't do that. And so I, I have to try to find, so I've been trying to find ways to pull in some knowledge. Hey, I like this stuff for this reason. It's not in print anymore. So we think, or what, you know what, I'll, I'll try to give whatever knowledge that I have, but then I'll also maybe open it so I can enjoy it. You know what I mean? And not just sit there and be like, this is this, this is this, right. you know? So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a happy, you know, and I want people to click too. You know, it's like, I still want to be able to maybe turn the lights on. So I, 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 I want to, you know, I want to, I want people to click and, and be interested and, you know, stay on the ride. So is this, is this your full-time job? No, no, like, no. You're not, you're not there I, I still, I still do. I still, I still do lighting. Yeah. People ask me what I do all the time. I, I I'm, I'm a sale. I do, I do sales, you know, yeah. but, uh, I've been selling the same guys for 10 years. So just be like me and you talking, like, you'd be like, Hey, I need this. All right, great. How many it's right. like, we're friends, you know, it's not like, I'm like, yeah. Hey, this, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Okay. You get what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> right? yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if I'll ever stop doing that. I, I love my job, honestly. I, mm-hmm. so it's, you know, it's easy, but it's like 50, 50, you know, like I, yeah. po- Pokemon is definitely, definitely come along for me. You know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a vehicle. It wasn't a financial vehicle for me a year ago. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. I you mean, 70 some thousands, nothing to scoff at. Once you start hitting mm-hmm. those, those six digits with subscribers, you can start really doing some damage, um, uh, with, with financial stuff, which is good. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we all do sales, but um, traditionally, I used to do sales, and I was selling robotic arms for automation, and it was just never something I could connect on mm. with people and build those types of relationships that would have led me to that point of, because that's what sales, like, whatever you're selling, whatever sales job you have, it's all about your client book, and once you get to a point where you're just kind of like collecting residuals, essentially, where you're re-upping all your existing customers, it is a nonstop grind and it takes five years, 10 years, however long to get to that point of, again, whatever you're selling. And I just didn't have the patience or the interest in what I was doing to, uh, to build those relationships and build that clientele. Um, so luckily Pokemon saved my, (laughs) my career. Well, cause cause if you're miserable then, yeah, if you're miserable, then you're going to be even more miserable in ten years. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Uh, well, I so. mean, unless the you know the paycheck's big enough, and like you said, it's at the point where um, it's mostly conversations with the friends type. Yeah. You know, your customers are your friends. You know, it, it can get to that point. Um, yeah. So you grind it out, you figure it out. You can get you can get there, even if you do hate it. But uh, but yeah, more than likely, I would have been just as miserable if not (laughs) right so very happy with the uh career shift that i took um i actually i actually got dinner with my old ceo because it was a japanese company Mm. and he's lived in japan now for the past few years because he's getting close to to retirement so when i went to japan i got in contact with him just because it was a big part of my life there was like a you know i i had a big uh um i guess medical thing back in the day when I was first working this job and because of him and because of that company, they, you know, really saved me essentially. So it mean, they mean a lot to me. So I, I, I was sure to hit him up to see him after it's been, I quit back in September of 2019. So mm. it had, it's been four years since I seen him or talked to him. So I got to get dinner with him in Japan, That's uh, cool. which was really cool. Yeah. And, and he was, yeah, he was just like happy for me and excited that I've been able to, be successful with buying and selling Pokemon cards. <laughs> and uh, right. of course he has, understands it too. Cause his, uh, his kids a little bit older than I am, but um, growing up in Japan, Pokemon craze, buying them cards and all that. Pokemon Japan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, yeah, it, it, it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we got to get you out to, to the, one of the worlds, the, the world events. That was the first time I met Nick and Ryan actually was at, mm. uh, Washington DC worlds in 2019. Um, and before we started this, you were mentioning potentially going, um, to Japan. Yeah. 
what what Dude. stopped what stopped you there? It when we actually started talking about it, it was you know, it was still it was it was still four or five weeks away. But for me, like you know, I have three kids, my wife, you know, like the whole operation over here. So it's like that is tough. To, and we're talking about how long we would have to leave for, and we're we're talking about a seven to ten day trip. So then now I'm thinking I'm like now there's like a, the you know the channel my work the kids my wife and so it's like all these things I'm like okay we can make it work we can make, but at the end of it um I don't think it worked with 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 Ryan either because he's he's closing on a house yeah. so he so he has a lot of stuff going on in his own world and it just didn't work you know what I mean like and not to you know and on top of all of it it's in Japan so like you're like just to get over there. You're kind of, it's, it's just, it's a lot, it's, it was just a lot of moving a parts, lot. but then I'm thinking in my own head, I'm like, this is <sighs> worlds, Japan, Pokemon. It's like, this is the, t- this is the one, you know, it's just going to mean a little bit more than when it's in, you know, I don't know where it is next year, you know, but where, where, Hawaii. Okay. Hawaii. So, you know, that's one that I'm going to go to. Right, that's going to be, gonna be it'll, it'll be more expensive. <laughs> it'll be more, right? Yeah, Hawaii is just like three x just because. Yeah. But I, no matter what, and we, and then we were talking about it. We're like, let's go to let's still go to Japan at some point, but let's go on our own terms. So it's not you know because yeah. we should have started talking about this three months ago, and then maybe mm-hmm. it happens, you know. But we you know we just and it it just we just didn't talk about. It. I don't know, it, and you know I'm not going to go by myself. You know what I mean? So it's like that that. That would that I would have been like you know that would have been anxious like there would have been like you know tell okay. like yeah I, I, that uh, that was one of my more enjoyable po- uh, oh uh, really was it because you got going, to just do going, it. I just do whatever I want I explored like crazy knocked out so much um, yeah my my first I've, I've been there before I went there once in 2018 but oh so you you kind of had a feel for it yeah it was helpful like I yeah. knew how to get around and what to do and. I, I, it was I was familiar. I was comfortable, uh, uh, which helped out a lot. Um, but yeah, my first few days was in Tokyo alone, and I was able to knock out so much just being by myself, uh, and most of it being business, going to shops and buying stuff. And then, but yeah, that that's only good for a few days. <laughs> then you're like, All yeah, right, now what? I need to be with somebody. I need to be hey, with and, people. And, and uh, yeah, and like if I was, you know, I'm institutionalized at this point, man. I got this huge operation over here with my family. Like I end up missing the kids and like, you know, yeah. I'm calling back. The first day is always like, I'm free. I'm ready. You know, and then like the second day I'm like, oh, the kids, are the, are they ask for me and they love me at all. You know, like, like who's talking? So it's, it's, it's a little bit of that. And I just, the thought of, cause I want to go to Japan. That's one of my life things. It's not even like a world's thing or it's, you know, I want to go to Japan. I, I wanted to go to Japan before I got serious about Pokemon. I just want to go out there. I want to experience their culture. It's incredible. I want to ex- yeah. yeah every, what you just said, every single person, there, there's no lying in that. So I want to experience that. And so this, just the circumstances have to line up and then, you know, it's going to happen. But yeah, <sighs> it, worlds, it, man, Japan. Yeah. I envy you, dude. I do. I envy it, you. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, I went back and forth uh, near the end of it just because of the expense and then I ended up spending like the most amount of money I've ever spent in my life on uh, a week or whatever it was. Um, you got to do a video on your haul, bro. You got to do a video on like everything you brought back. I mean, I, yeah, I talked a little would bit. People want to see that it. probably. I mean, the, fully can't. I spent probably 70 grand. Wow. Did you buy trophy cards and so that? I, what are we talking I, it, about? Mo- yeah. Most of it was a Pokemon Snap article. Yeah. Um, wow i bought a snap card so wow that That's was awesome. just fully impulsive insane i didn't know how i was going to pay for it but i figured it out <laughs> thankfully <laughs> mm-hmm. um but uh but yeah because i was like all right this trip's gonna cost me five grand between flights and hotels and food and spending at the pokemon center and hanging out yeah and then it just went out of hand <laughs> real quick five to 70 real quick (laughs) yeah Yeah. and then i was like all right from here out you know it's it's over already let's just keep on doing this and i kept on buying and buying and buying so um yeah i'm 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 headed to cgc actually uh tuesday to get it graded as well as some other stuff but um but yeah it's it, it japan like you said the just the culture um the people it's completely different 
it's yeah. real like eye opening as far as like how societies run type things yeah. like and, and all that. So um, definitely recommend going and yeah, I better see you at Worlds. I mean, that's like a four hour flight for you to Hawaii. Yeah, I've never been know, to Hawaii. I'm, Oh, oh, dude! I, my dad. Yeah. See now, now this is now you're talking about the opposite end of it, right? This would be somewhere that I would definitely go by myself, no matter what happens. I'm gonna go because <laughs> my dad, li- my grandfather lived. He retired in Hawaii. My dad grew up on Oahu. Uh, so, and my my stepmother is Hawaiian. My siblings are half are half Hawaiian. So, and this I don't think I've ever said that actually on camera. Actually, wow. so that is honest to god truth. Um, and so I know it very well. I've been to Hawaii, you know, 20 times compared to Japan zero. So it's, that's going to be an easy sell, you know? Um, so I can't wait. Yeah. If that's where it is, I'm, I'm definitely going. Um, yeah, it's, it's in Honolulu. It's on the, the big Island. I, um, it, is so. it like pro- maybe downtown Waikiki? Probably. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know. it's going to be somewhere know. cool. It's going to be somewhere. Um, but like, yeah, Honolulu, then you have downtown Waikiki and that's like, downtown you know that's the big that's the that's the main island i would say it's not the big island but it's the main island um but but yeah that would be the place to do it if you want to get some you know have it all there you got all the restaurants all the beach you know wherever the big convention center is 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 where it'll be at Uh, yeah but yeah but i'm definitely i'm going to that so you're you're hawaiian by association uh i am i am have you always grown up you, you grew up in in socal I grew up in SoCal and then um, I would, so half of my family is Spanish. So my grandparents migrated here from Spain. So I'm second gen wow. American, I guess. Um, and then, and then, yeah, my dad's side. So I have a little bit of everything going on and, uh, and yeah, that's okay. That's a perfect example. Hawaiian people in general, they are so, so welcoming, bro. Like if you've never experienced that culture, like, yeah, you see a lot of stuff on the, you know, on the movies, like, oh, locals only, you know, howlies, blah, 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 like, uh, you, know, uh, you know, all that. That's all BS. Okay. Yeah. When you're there, Hawaiian people are just the most welcoming. Well, you're, you know, our stuff is your stuff. You're, yeah. you know, this is your house now. Um, and like, yeah, people get re- like, if you just experience American culture, oh, man, that's like, you know. That's why I, I want to go. That's why, you know, with the, like, I feel like it would be similar with Japanese, you know, with the Japanese people, you know, they're probably just different, you know, very, like, just, I don't know. I could, I could imagine them being more. Well, <sighs> what, it's, yeah, it's, I, I did mention this again. I, I recorded a solo podcast yesterday about mm-hmm. this. Um, there is still a bit of like racism out there. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Towards, tor- towards, uh, towards towards Americans towards, towards foreign or, or, for, foreigners, foreigners of any kind. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It's. Uh, it. Uh, I mean, the majority, incredibly welcoming, very nice, yeah. very helpful. They see you struggling, trying to find your way or talk to somebody. I had plenty of people come up and like translate for me. Sure. The majority, fine, great, fantastic, right? But right. there is there is still a sense of like, gaijin like we you're not allowed in here like this is our thing there is yeah. that sense in areas I, in places that's um, probably like any culture right it is. that's probably it is. it's got to be but, but it is more it is like more it's apparent. in your face more yeah, prevalent it, it is yeah. more it's like more accepted it's like mm, it's oh mm. it's okay in a way i don't know i don't know how to put it properly but like yeah it it's either like expected i don't know it's expected or, or okay it's yeah it's weird to, like the other Japanese people, like let's, they're fine. They're just old school samurai. All right, right just let, right. They're, they're, they're just they're fine. Okay, exactly. they're not gonna do anything. Yeah, yeah. And like, I mean, I one hundred percent get it. Obnoxious Americans all over the yeah. place. Not. Oh yeah. You. Oh yeah. Like one hundred percent. I'm like, you know what? I get it. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I'm not sensitive to anything like that. So they, they're um, not. They're walking in, not checking their their freaking muddy shoes at the door, and they're like they're stomping everywhere, screaming, yeah. drunk. You know? Oh yeah. I'm sure yeah. they're like, Ooh, yeah, these guys are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So I can imagine it, that. It's yeah. And, and, and <laughs> there was there was a nice little theory going around because at the event uh, they had these lotteries for everything for the Pokemon center for like these special events they had during the weekend. And I, I, I didn't win any of it. I got to go to the Pokemon center quite a few times through friends, but 
my other friends who went to these things were like, yeah, I was looking around and we were the only white people. So, so we were all claiming that the lottery system was rigged and they were giving it to all the, uh, they probably had Dominion machines counting the, you know, <laughs> they probably had some different machines over there. You know? yeah. We don't get into that. <laughs> 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 oh, dude. But yeah, regardless of the, you know, whatever under the rug or over the rug racism, I'm still going to Japan. Yeah, so, no, fa- yeah, you have to. It's, yeah, it's incredible. I'm going. Um, I'm going. Yeah, it's, I got it's, to. It's a great culture. I love it. Yeah, man. I but, would love to. I'd love to eat some fresh sushi, bro. I'd love to eat some, you know, I'd love well, to eat, because I heard it tastes different. So, yeah, I, we actually know. had bad sushi at one place. Um, Let's go. I'm uh, into all of it. The meats, <laughs> the meats got to be different. That's what Pat was saying. He's yeah. saying the meat's different, you know? It, so I'm you, like, I mean, if you get the good, good, the the real good meats, yeah. Yeah, he's getting the good, good for sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, definitely, I'm one to not plan that stuff. I just wander around, and I'll just stumble yeah. into a, a ramen shop or a sushi shop or whatever and just eat yeah that typically is great and perfectly fine um but if you want like the high high-end stuff you can you should probably research it find the michelin stars do all that i'm i'm trying to go to where like uma thurman went and killed bill i'm trying to get some sashimi and then i want to so i want to stay there for a month and i want to learn how to, i want to learn how to like you know do some martial arts and stuff and i want to get like a, my own my own katana and and then and then I'll go home. And that I'll be was, happy. that was one thing that I missed out on. I wanted to go to some of the sumo um, yeah, dude. Uh, spots. Oh, yeah, like that would yeah that was one part that I missed out on. Um, was doing more, really more like cultural, uh, touristy things. I guess. Yeah, dude, uh, it's what, a what, Japanese what, rodeo, bro. I want, yeah. I want a Japanese UFC. You know? Yeah, I want to see be, it. That would be awesome. I, that that's that's on that's on my list for next time I go is to go and bro, to what culture can you be where you are the athlete? You're 400 pounds. <laughs> Obviously, you're probably strong. You got all the chicks all over you, okay? <laughs> and they're all very polite. And you're like you're just walking around, just smacking freaking powder around, moving your stuff. Yeah, dude. Okay, <laughs> so you putting your stuff. You know what? Putting your stuff. And I know what's up. Okay. <laughs> I got the, That's what I'm talking about, dude. I want to be. A, I want to be a part of that. Yeah, yeah. I want to get yeah. the 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 belt on. The, yeah, the, dude. Just get got, kicked up and. It's it's the first thong ever, you know, in the world, and it's just. <laughs> it's, <laughs> where, oh, are my, where, where are my sumo cards? I got to get some signed yeah, sumo man. sumo wrestler cards. <laughs> who's the guy, man? Who's the guy? Who's the dude? You know. <laughs> That'd be fun. Who's uh, the rock uh, of sumo? But you know. <laughs> He's the like, man. who's the hitman? Who's the hitman of sumo? I want to yeah. know. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Uh, it, it, this is another thing that I bring up a lot with with my people. You you already mentioned it early on, but you know, being a dad, um, and doing all this Pokemon stuff. Obviously, you've gone through a different course with this, where um, you know, it did start with your kid, and then you had to, unfortunately separate it a little bit um but what's what's it mean to you to be able to really do pokemon as a as a dad i mean you know you're still full you're still working full-time as well um but what's what's it mean to you to be able to to do something like this for really I, i guess it's a side hustle for you at the moment but um to do this and connect with your kids on a level that that uh you know, brings them joy. Are they, Ooh. are they bringing you in yet as a, a, uh, career day? My daddy does, uh, Pokemon content. That's so funny that you'd say that. That was the first thing that I thought of. So like when you're asking like, like, what does it mean to me? I'm relevant to my kids. So <laughs> they are proud of what, of me, of what I do. That's You right. know what I mean? Which is, which is awesome that, yeah. it, you know, and then when you're talking about career day, they sat me next to, okay, this guy was a sweetheart. I've known him for a couple of years. Our kids gone to school together, right? Career day last year. I, I put videos up on, on Instagram. It's so funny. He does, he created a system or he manages a system that's, that filters our sewage. Okay. So it's like such a, if his, if he doesn't do his job, we'll have poop on the streets. Okay. He does such a necessary job and he has this flow chart with the cranks and the tubes. And he's showing us how the poo poo moves through, through my city. Okay. And I'm sitting there. I brought a spinny wheel, some Pokemon plushes, okay, 
and then some Pokemon cards. My line was around the play yard, okay, because we were outside. It was, mm-hmm. I was at least 200 kids deep, and there's video of it. My wife's sitting there like, oh, my God, I'm looking next to this guy. I swear to God, I, I tell him, I'm like, listen, man, I know this is, uh, uh, you know, because he's sitting there. He's like, it's it's 98 degrees, too. It's like hot. He's in, I think he's in a ca- in a lab coat. I'm not kidding. He's like, he's like all in, okay? <laughs> And I'm sitting there just how you see me right now. Or right? I'm having the time of my life. I'm the king of the t- the ten year olds. Okay, and he's and he's like, and I'm like, dude, it's okay. They they don't know it, but what you do, I appreciate what you do. You know, like like, and he's he's. You could tell that he's bummed. You know, yeah. I was, yeah. I was the attraction at you know at uh at career day <laughs> you got at my kids daughter's school. schools coming bro they were telling people <laughs> and you know i was signing things at the end i'm like you guys are crazy but they didn't know you know they're just kids they're just kids you know so it's like and then i'm sitting yeah. there as a what i think is a pretty based adult and i'm like this is kind of weird actually you know what i mean like i'm so then i'm trying to just be like all right listen stay in school this is just pokemon you know relax you know or whatever so but yeah that was being you know my daughter, especially my son, he, he, he can, he, he's just happy to be alive. He's five years old. He's kind of like, he's a boy. He's a five-year-old boy. You know, he's caveman status, whatever. My daughter, she's a, she's a thinker. She's intellectual. She's like my wife, you know what I mean? And, but she's, she is proud of me. And that, you know, that means a lot that, that, you know, I'm, I'm important to her and I'm not just, you know, I'm not just dad or whatever, you know, it, she, she will brag to her friends about me. She'll show like when she has her girlfriends over for like a play date, she'll show them the studio and she's like, my dad does Pokemon. And that, you know, obviously that's like, for okay, all right, get out, you know, or whatever. But like <laughs> don't touch, in don't my open. heart, yeah, in my heart, that means a lot to me. And, you know, I've said that too on camera. Like that's the, that was a huge payoff that I didn't even see, you know, back then. I never saw that as like a benefit because it didn't just happen until, until recently because all our friends are playing Pokemon. Pokemon's so... You know, it's everywhere. Yeah. So all our friends, all our friends are playing Pokemon. You know, they love the cards and all that. So, that's you know, that, that's cool. Yeah, dude, that's really cool. That was a cool, I'm a personality to that. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. you know, I don't feel it, but they think that I'm like, like, you know, like a, a fa- or famous or whatever. But like, I don't yeah. feel that. I don't feel that personally, but, right. um, but like to them right. and that I'll play, I'll play at that. You know, I'll, I'll be like, that's right. You know, big guy. Yeah. King of the castle. I got a chair. I have a chair. You know, like I, so. I literally just watched Borat before. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> before this, yeah. It's like the best scene. That's like the best scene. <laughs> King of the castle. I have a chair. I have a chair. <laughs> you know? Yeah, dude. So I'll, I'll play, you know, I'll, 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 I'll definitely cash in those chips whenever she wants yeah. to give them to me, you know, for sure. I yeah. love that. It's, it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's really cool. I mean, uh, yeah, man. When I, like, that was just when I was doing basketball camps in high school and college, even. The kids think all the uh, all the counselors who are who are playing off, you know, showing showing off, uh, yeah. running the all, all the games and stuff are like famous basketball players. And you're like an NBA just, star, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just feed into it. You sign basketballs. You, yeah, you yeah, sign yeah. Of course. Yeah, at the end of the camp. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's really cool. That's that, awesome. That that was that's yeah. That's that so was cool. the biggest shock at card party is. You know, obviously, I felt like I was I wasn't at people that that knew me. Like, oh yeah, you know, I'm I'm a fan of the channel. Blah, blah. There's so many people, but I mean, obviously, you're bringing the nucleus of the Pokemon nerd community. You know, and yeah. I'm one of them into one spot. But like, that was pretty shocking too. Is how many how many people wanted to just you know say what's up and you know and yeah. get a signature and stuff. I never th- thought of any like you know I don't sign stuff for anything. You know, what I mean? so right. I never even thought about that. There's so. a um... There's a kid out there. Well, he's probably, I guess he's probably in like middle school or high school now, but he has a basketball signed by Tom Izzo, um, Gary Harris, uh, some of the, uh, Draymond had, he was gone. Draymond Green was gone the year before, but the entire Michigan State basketball team and then me. And then you're, <laughs> and then I love me. it. I love it. it. Oh, yeah. It was, I, I played with them for a very short time, a semester. And uh, one Still. of the practices, a bunch of kids came <laughs> and we were in the locker room. Kids were getting stuff signed. And one kid came up to me. And I was like, are you are you sure you want me to sign this thing? <laughs> but yeah, there was a ball out there <laughs> with Tom Izzo's signature, legendary coach and all these great. A couple of them went to the NBA. I don't think anyone really made it big. But uh, and then me. 
<laughs> so I love that that's, that that's out there. It's one of my favorite things. I love it. You should buy it back. <laughs> He'll probably just give it to you. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, <laughs> I, it's probably, it's in the trash at this point. It's in the trash. Yeah. So w- one kid came up to me at car party and he's like, and he's like, can you sign this Charizard? It was like a basic Charizard, right? It's like, it looked pretty good. And I was like, I was like, I was like, are you sure? And he goes, yeah, definitely. And so I'm going and I'm pushing it. Okay. So as I'm pushing it out of the sleeve, okay, I'm pushing it out. He goes, whoa, on the sleeve. And <laughs> And I was like, all right, dude. Okay. Like, uh, no, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding you, John. I'm like this. I'm pu- I'm halfway up the car. And I'm like, he goes, whoa. And I'm like, he goes on the sleeve, dude. And then I'm going to put it in a card saver. Okay. Uh, cause I, was always, cause I didn't know. I didn't know the, I, I learned very quickly that they want it on the sleeve. They're very, you know, they're smart. The kids are smart. They don't want it on the card unless they specifically say on the card, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm used to just signing the cards, so I, I yeah, didn't right. have that experience. I, I didn't have kids coming up to me. I did have adults coming up to me asking for her a couple, but I had the hilarious. kids, <laughs> dude. It's, it was I, and it's nowhere to be found now. I wish it was on on camp. That would be such yeah. a good like little moment. That would have been a funny mo- moment. But yeah, like because of the Pat video, I I my demographic is 25 to 35 normally, right. but because right. of Pat's videos, I have. You know, there's these kids that are coming up, and and I'm and they're like, I saw you on Pat's video. Hey, you're Pat's friend. Hey, you're that guy from Pat's video. And I'm like, Just yes, yes, I Pat's am. Friend. <laughs> yeah, my name is my name is Pokerev. Okay, my name is Pokerev. So yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think yeah, that was the extent of my signatures was when I was I, sitting next to Nick, and yeah, they saw. I get called. Like, I get called Nick. Badge. Yeah, exactly. Oh, They're really? looking for the lanyard. Oh, dude, yep. I get called Poker Rev daily. I get called daily. I get called old. I get called Sean's. I get called because of Ryan, right? So what's what's I the deal get, with that exactly? What's what's Sean's day? What is this? You can ask him tonight because I tonight. don't even know. Okay, <laughs> so you can ask him. No one knows. He just says <laughs> things, and then it'll be like Sean, grant me your elderly power, and I'm like, bro, you are four days younger than me. Okay. So like, seriously. And, and, and so he's made all this space between our ages. Okay. And I'm so old. So I get said, and then Sean's day is, is every Wednesday. So I don't know okay. what that means. That's as far as I know. And then, you know, he'll obviously say, you know, he'll tell me to F off every single, every single video about 42 times. Okay. So if mm-hmm. you watch any of it, right. And then what else, what else do I get called? I get called, I get, I, rarely though dollar store poker red but that's like a funny mm-hmm. one you know because yeah. i made fun of myself about it too but i get called nick all the time or poker rev not nick but i get called poker rev all the time and then i'll, I'll go back and i'm like hey dude thank you so much it's it's you know i'm actually not poker rev. and they come back with this huge oh, i'm so sorry i'm like dude, it's good it's cool i get it i get <laughs> it okay you're probably like six years old chill out give your phone back yeah. to your dad and let's move on with our day you know so yeah well, how's the um, how's the weight loss challenge going? You just started a I'm, couple days ago. I'm down four pounds, bro. Okay, really? no joke. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, he so so Ryan called me fat. So so he he <laughs> said it just straight up. Yeah, and you get exactly Ryan's just what I'm straight saying. Up bullying people. Oh, dude, dude, and he gets and away with it. <laughs> and so we're in. We're I'm uh, we're texting and we're in a group text. And then Nick goes, "Whoa, this is getting awkward." You know, he goes, "What? We're all thinking it. Sean is fat." Okay. And he's, he has a dad bod. We all saw it. Okay. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I've been trying to watch it for like a year now. I, if he would have saw me a year ago in person, probably much worse, but I've fought this back. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not in the shape that I was in high school. I was in much, I was in like very I good shape. Not. No, sure. I was in, <laughs> no, you should never be right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, but like, yeah, obviously, you know, I, and you know, I'm not giving, making any excuses, but anyway, he said that to me and I'm like, you mother effer. I went freaking, I was like, I wasn't mad, but I was like, I was startled. You know, it was like shocking. And, yeah. and I was like, and he go, and long story short, we go back and forth, back and forth. Nick's like, this is awkward. And me and him are going back and forth and we're like, okay, fine. Let's put some freaking lines on the field here. And he goes, I'll give you this, I'll give you this EX Metagross blister. If you lose, if you get to 200 pounds by the time, cause I'm going to go to the East coast. And we're yeah. gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna film some content with them, and blah blah blah. And you have two months for 26 pounds. I mean, that's not necessarily healthy, but I'm gonna do my absolute best. I think I can do it. Yeah. So I'm on day five, and I'm down four pounds, easy pounds. 
but, but yeah, I'm hungry, um, all the time and you know, I'm exercising again a lot, like every day. Yeah. Yeah. No. So end of the end of the day, I don't lose anything other than weight. So he doesn't win anything for me if I lose, but I'll, I'll take this blister off him. It's like a one K blister. You know, I think it has, yeah, has Delta species and like Holland Mm -hmm. phantoms or something in it. So I'll Mm -hmm. take that, you know, all day. And then I'll yeah. open it right in his face and then I'll pull a gold star and then that, and then that'll be that. And it'll you know? be a giveaway. Uh, <laughs> so you won't even, not this it. one. I'll no. cherish this one. This one cost me 26 pounds in two months of my life. You okay. know? There you go. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that's R- it. Ryan does it out of, out of love, even though he's, he, he's bold. hundred percent, hundred percent. And everyone knows that that's the, th- that's the worst part about him is that he's always on, like he can be the biggest D but he's always on brand. You know what I mean? It's never out of his wheelhouse to say something like that. Like if he said that, people would be like, "Okay, yeah, you are. We've been, we've all been thinking it." He is like, it, you know, because he has like a cult following, you know. Yeah. And a lot of those guys are also my guys, but not when they're watching me. When they're watching him, it's like, you know, it's different. It's different. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You uh, get it. You know it. Yeah. No, but he. Oh, well. nah, That's awesome. It, you'll you'll have fun. You, um, I've been out there a few times. Uh, Nick's got a a fun little setup. I don't know yeah. if Ryan. I don't think Ryan's has changed at all. <laughs> but no. Ryan is is uh his parents' basement. It's fun to visit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and he. So I'm I'm gonna take some money out there too because I because I'm gonna help him downsize. You know what I mean? He yeah, needs to, yeah. Do a little yeah. bit of shopping at Cool Trade. A little bit of shopping. Store. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah CTR <laughs> and PR. I told him when he moves out all those boxes that are up against the wall, he's gonna find like a dead cat back there. You know oh, what I mean? Like he's oh dude, he hasn't been back there in years. He doesn't know he what's has, back there. He has so much stuff. It's, it's oh, really, dude, it's really it's so much dust and like probably skin flakes back there, like DNA, like all that old dust, all that old air is just settled <laughs> down in between the boxes. Oh yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Just I'm like excited. years of him farting and and everything. I almost said, so I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how we talk you on can, the podcast. You can say whatever you want. You can say <laughs> whatever. You, you, you can swear. You, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what was. I was just leaving it. There. You get what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just years of regret, okay, in that basement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Careful where you sit. Uh, yeah, exa- but- exactly. <laughs> yeah, th- th- that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, yeah, it'll be cool. Make, yeah, it'll you'll, be cool. you'll get some good clips. You'll get another nice viral one. Uh, yeah, exactly. Sure. Uh, I've never been to Jersey, so I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll oh, be really? happy to go. No, never. You, I'll be happy you to like go. Italian food? Oh, 100%, dude. Yeah. Right, well, it's the best place in the world for Italian food. At yeah. least, I mean, I love American Italian food. It's so good. Um, yeah, no. Ryan, yeah, Ryan just, knows all the spots. Nick just stays home, but Ryan knows all the spots. Um, yeah. Get some nice, uh, get some corned beef hash. Get some, get some sandwiches. Get some, get some uh, uh, penne bacca pasta. Some, some good, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in for all of it, man. By that time, I'll I mean, be able to eat again too. So yeah, that's the. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say you're gonna lose all. I'll go there hungry. Weight. I'll be you're, hungry. You're gonna go there hungry and gain it all back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well worth it it's well worth it yeah yeah if, if there's one thing i miss about jersey it's it's the italian so it's the food it's the italian yeah. it's so good um but yeah man uh cool well uh i appreciate you coming on um oh yeah dude i was happy is, to be this here it's great yeah this is yeah, great man. i uh, uh happy to to connect with you i know we we, we don't talk much at all but uh, yeah you know we'll get group chats every now and then i guess yeah um, dude with with those guys but looking forward to to seeing you again um are you going to be at any events i'm or? doing um i'm doing collecticon in long beach a week oh. from today so 26 we'll see you there yeah. are you going yeah bro where the hell do you live wait a second where do you live <laughs> no i live in dallas right now um, oh i was gonna say I was like, what? Yeah. this is another like Pat situation. I'm like, wait, do you like, na- na- imagine like neighbors? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I come to LA quite a bit, I guess. Oh, um, nice. But yeah, I, I fly in Friday morning. I leave Sunday night. So, oh, do we have to connect? We have yeah, to connect. I'll, I'll see you I'll, there for sure. I'm going to be, I'm probably more than like 94% going to be shooting with, with Pat on Saturday for, for his channel and possibly okay. for mine. And then, and then, but I'm going to be there. I, I'm not doing any obligations for like, um, like anything. I'm just going to be walking yeah. the, the aisles, man. I want to make some deals for my own collection. I want to do some stuff. See if I, you know, I'm going to yeah. know, know some people that are there and yeah, de- we got to connect. Absolutely. I'm picking up I'll, a I'll, Dragon Ball, a Dragon Ball Z collection. But other than that, oh yeah, I'll nice. just be, I'll just be wandering. 
So yeah, dude. No, I we I would love to connect. We'll get some food and stuff. I'll I'll DM you my number after uh, yeah. after we uh we end here. Yeah, that'd be awesome. It gets Long Beach gets a little hectic. It's a lot of people go to this one. So yeah, uh, yeah. We had a booth last year. It was that was a mistake. It was oh my gosh, you dude. did. Yes. Oh my god, you did. I did yes. say hi to you too. I remember. Yes. Wow. I forgot about that. Yeah, did have a booth. Yeah, yeah, that was a huge mistake. I mean, yeah. it's great if you're buying and selling. Uh, oh yeah, but, if but you're I didn't to make content or do not. anything else. You you can't. Yeah. No. It, yeah. It was and, and business. I, yeah, and it wasn't where it is now with the channel. So like, I didn't bring nearly as much as I should. What I ended up just doing at the end was just giving packs away to kids. You know what yeah. I mean? I just because that's just and my daughter was there with me for for half of it. So okay. this time I'll just be. It's going to be a free range chicken, and I'm just going to that's walk. That's the way. Around. Yeah, that's the way to do you know? it. It's so much more enjoyable. Yeah. Not zero obligation, zero responsibility. Um, that's what I'm doing. Yep. Can, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll be with Swolpoke, Jeremy. Have you you've met Jeremy? Um, I think I was he a car party? Yeah. Yeah. I I, big, I don't think I talked to him that much. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's well, like jacked. Yeah. yeah. He's uh. Yeah. yeah he's he's but my best friend in the hobby probably so uh, oh hell yeah dude well, yeah i didn't get to talk to him much but... in, in real life oh it's not just <laughs> real friendship life. anymore yeah <laughs> so um yeah it, it, we'll, we'll be hanging around so yeah let's get yeah. together get some food yeah um yeah that'll be that'll be fun yeah 100 percent. cool all right, man. all right man well uh we're right at like 120 perfect timing i appreciate you again um for those that uh don't follow sean don't follow pokey vault follow pokey vault hit that subscribe button over on youtube and instagram and twitter and or x and wherever else you you make content but um yeah, yeah thank you again man i really appreciate it and um have fun with uh on the east coast over there it's gonna be a good time and i will i mean when this comes out i will have seen you last week but i will see you in a week time travel <laughs> yeah i'll see you i'll see you in a week man